today is going to be better than yesterday because yesterday it went wrong. Oh, it was a disaster yesterday, wasn't it? But we have made some progress with the uh, the podcast studio. Let us show you. Just uh, flip that light, please. So because we finished yesterday early, we thought we'd come back to the house and actually do some work on this podcast. So that's how it's looking. All our hard work, 20 minutes. So if anyone's interested in podcasts... Three pound plus VAT a month. I yeah. don't know what, I don't know where the VAT goes, because it doesn't come to us. Yeah, it must so. be Patreon. So it's three pound, uh, three pound 60. That's the guest chair. It is. We've got a desk coming there, just to put mm. the microphone on. That's where me and Ben are going to be sitting. We're going to have stuff behind. Hopefully have a heater. Yeah, yeah, heating would be good. <laughs> this is work in progress. There's going to be loads of stuff up. We're going to get some insulation in. We're going to get some stuff on the back wall all over. Yeah. It's going to be good. It is. So, nothing can go wrong today. Well, it, it no, it can't because it's uh, quite an important day. We are going to Alton Park. It's a Tuesday track day. How much was it? It was cheap, just like Ben. <laughs> £109, something like that. Quid. So hopefully, even though it's frosty, and it is really frosty. I mean, I'm not going to touch it because it'll scratch the paint, but believe us, it's frosty. I mean, look at it. Real frosty. Yeah. So we'll do the sighting laps. Yeah. And maybe leave it an hour just to warm up a bit. Thaw yeah? out a bit. We'll get a butty. Hey, that's a great challenge. I need to drive. You need to do your online briefing form Have thing. Have you not done it yet? I've done eight, mine. I thought it was 8 o'clock, you said. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was today. It's tomorrow. Yesterday. The yeah. day after. Who knows? Whenever. <laughs> So that is the briefing done, the online briefing, we've signed in, everything is ready to go, it's half eight in the morning, so because we're professionals, we don't need to do the briefing, do we? Not a proper briefing, I mean it used to take, what, half an hour inside? Yeah. And now it's like a, a five minute job on the internet. It is. So, we've got all this time to, to kill now, what do we do? Brings us on to today's sponsor, Readly, who are an online magazine subscription service. Thank you very much for Perfect. sponsoring this, this video. Remember when you used to go to these shops years ago? Yeah. And you, you used to look on the top shelf at all the magazines, right? <laughs> Steady. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is the magazines, and you used to go through them all, and you'd be like, which ones, which ones? Yeah. Well, you had to pay for them. So, readily, you go onto the uh, the app, because we've got right. an app for it across all the devices. Yeah. You pay for your monthly subscription, right. which we've got a deal for you guys. Wait till the end of the integration, and we'll tell you what it is. And you've got thousands of magazines. Right. Are the actual magazines that we know, like, are the yeah. magazines Fast that Car. we've... Fast Car really? Force is one of the main ones. Yeah. And they've got loads of different car-related ones. Fast Forward, remember Fast Forward? Yeah. They've got all that kind of stuff. So when you sign up to something, you don't really know what you're getting. We have genuinely used this. I'm away quite a bit, as he mentions. I'm always here, there, and everywhere. So I have this on my phone. I download the magazines, and you know another thing as well? What? My wife uses it. Really? And do you know when you're on a flight, yeah. and your wife or your girlfriend sat next to you, and they expect you to talk to them for like the whole flight, <laughs> entertain them? You... That's when you usually put your noise cancelling headphones on. Exactly, just say, get on the Readly, read some magazines, <laughs> Yeah. three yeah. hours later, wherever you're going. All done. So you're actually saving yourself a problem. So these magazines, and you can download them to your phone, so you haven't got to use the internet, it's all yeah. just on your phone and yeah, that. Yeah, because you can't get, well, you, you don't get internet on, on some flights, no. especially the domestic ones, to Spain and stuff. Down Download them and you can just read them at your leisure. Happy days. So come on then, what's the deal? How much is it? Well, I got a great deal. We got a great deal for you guys last time, but we've got an even better one. So you get two months for free. Right. That's a long time. Yeah. 9.99 after that. Can't which... argue with that. You're getting all them magazines. It's absolutely brilliant. Sign so, me up. Yeah, the link is in the description down there. Have a look. And you got two months for free. What have you got to lose? Brilliant. Right, so that's enough reading the magazines. Yeah. We're going to do some driving. So um, my wife's just turned up with some supplies, Greg's and stuff for later, and she's brought us some heat packs for the toesies. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to get ripped on YouTube, you know that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, but it's cold today. <laughs> Look at that, what are they, size zero? I don't know, I don't know. I don't, so what, do you not have to peel anything off? No, you just put them in? All right, get them in, test them out. Men don't read instructions, you know that. Never directly on skin. If too hot, remove warmers. Right. Small. Feel heat. Have you got any bigger ones? Seriously? <laughs> All small? It. You're gonna need two, yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you having a laugh? I'm confused at how these go, exactly. Uh, they start activating as soon as you open the packet. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that all you've got, small? And then you just stick them. Yeah. For real? It's still gonna get your feet, isn't it? Oh, for it? God's sake. Performance mode. I found out 
basically turns the um, RD pre sensor off and all that kind of stuff as well, which is quite handy because you don't want the car slamming the brakes on. Well, that's the thing. It's still on. What? The oh yeah, so it is. Still on. You must have just put that on then. No, no, I've not touched it. What the fuck? Because it comes up saying that it's turned the pre sensor off. So you're up to. Mid 20s on the front tyre temp, 15 degrees on the rear tyre temp. Can't be having done by a 106, can we? 105, 205 even. Whoa, fucking hell, mini lad. It's got every kind of steer. <laughs> the understeer on this is. How'd you find that then? Loads of understeer, loads of oversteer, lack of grip. Just not going round the corner steer, just other I mean, shit. I was driving like shit just to see how the, how the car slid around. I wanted to push it to its limit. I wanted to see where it loses grip. It loses grip everywhere. <laughs> so um, it started to brake fade sort of like to the end. What did we do there? About seven laps. Something like that. So obviously the one we get, the green one, is going to be carbon ceramics. Yes, it so is. So it should be much better. It's just the tyres. They've doubled. So they were on fronts were around mid 20s and the rears were on uh, around 14, 15. I mean, this might be right. Why is the inside front tyre six degrees higher? This is predominantly right turn track, right? So obviously if the weight's over that side, yeah. maybe it's spinning that spinning up a bit that on up, the yeah. inside or something. That's the reason why. Weird. So if anybody knows why that inside should be higher than that. I mean, I say inside as in the inside of the track. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going round, we're doing predominantly um, right turns. Yeah. There is some left turn, but yeah. predominantly it's right, so who knows? But yeah. Otherwise, though, was that fun? Do you know what? The traction is still on to a limited amount. The car will still go sideways, but this is just as fun as a rear wheel drive car. Track days for me is all about fun. Yeah. I'm not bothered about a track time. You're not well, supposed you're not, to time no, anyway. I was going to say, you can't time anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, Benji's first go out on track. We've got the Yaris GR in front of us, but we've got no uh, tyre temp, so give me your wrist. We've still got a bit of um, damp on the ground. Are you feeling confident? No. Nope. Do it. Should I be driving a 60 grand car on track not feeling confident? Well, you're wrong there. 70 grand. <laughs> it's 
well Ben's not waiting to warm the tyres up, he's just going he's just going at it, so that's the way those professionals do it, <laughs> we don't dick about here. So it's still pretty pretty damp round here. So coming through Nickerbrook we have to get over as soon as possible so we can take we can take this corner as straight as possible. Got the blue lights out, so um, that means you're faster than the one in front. They are, they are tootling them though. Sorry, I'm still not sure. I don't know why my fucking watch keeps talking to me. So there's one problem with this car. It needs harnesses. Yeah, you do feel like you're all over the place a little bit, don't you? So Benji's not really, doesn't really know where he's going here. So no. he's, doing, he's doing well, really, because um, you know. So you've driven a, a track a few times, that's it, using all the track control, up to about 115 down there, down at, oh, sideways, this is from 5th down into 2nd, so 50 miles an hour, 2nd gear exiting that, and then we should get up just into 4th gear, so 85 braking, going into Britons, so 40 miles an hour, 2nd gear through here, Probably can't hear me 
yourself anyway. <laughs> so if anybody didn't watch the um, the dyno video, this car is running 408 horsepower, 562 meter newton meters, meter newtons, newton meters of torque, and um, yeah, it feels it. Fun that. I nearly got up to your temperature, so I've got the back end up to to 34, 33. And the front end up to 43 46 but before you'd already just been out in it so you know the there was already a tire temp wasn't there so i think if you would have stayed out a couple more laps that would have gone up yeah so yeah we're still in one that. piece just about that's the main thing yes so straight away <laughs> i can smell the brakes they've definitely cooked a little bit but you are stamping on the brakes quite hard yeah i was getting i was getting on the brakes but it's been and like i can't, I've not been able to judge the corners all that well because I've only done a handful of laps in this in the Clio. That's it well, on the on Alton Park. To everybody watching, you you have only been round Alton Park maybe not many times, right? So you don't know the real layout. I've probably done about 15 laps, yeah. I would say, in total. So, so you're still learning. Yeah. You? But from my opinion, I think the problem with the car is the steering is that pointy. As you're coming through, the car's sort of like being sort of like moved around a lot it rotates loads like you can feel that it wants to be playful mm. i mean i've still got the traction on it's damp out there and we're on pirelli's and i'm not confident i'm not a, i'm it's not, still stepping out and it's still it's still coming right out yeah uh, i must stress though before you turn that off don't like look at this video and go oh here's two professional racing drivers giving their opinion on it i know absolutely nothing like i say i've probably done i would say after them laps i've probably done 20 laps on alton park now in two different cars mom's now is 200 so professional then aren't you we got anthony <laughs> If anybody's wondering, Ant Anthony's the foreigner that we had on that time. Do you mean by foreigner, is he from Liverpool? He's from Liverpool, he's a scouser. Okay, okay. He's a proper scouser as well, he's not one of these fake ones like you from, from Witness. From Witness, I'm yeah. not from Witness. <laughs> yeah. Classic scouser, you know. Fucking idiots. Right, you got spare boxes. Are you videoing me? My hair's all over the place here. Shut up, you tart. <laughs> it's your hair all over the place. I was wearing a cap for a reason. <laughs> right, so um, for those who are wondering, this is what the RS3 looks like in one piece. Do you know, um, do you know Druids? Yeah. Well, do you know like the grass at Druids and the gravel pit? Yeah. We had a look. Getting tired. You know how to drive? Yeah. It's his fault, fucking what? egging me on. He's like, come on, come on. Right, that's it. You're getting out now. Driving like we stole it. Sorry, it's a good driver though. He's a sick driver. Oh, he sounds like it, yeah. Who the fuck taught you how to drive, you bad driving bitch? It doesn't look like there's any damage. Before anyone says anything, we're with Reese Motorsport, who do all our insurances, and we're insured to do track days. So even if I did smash it up, it's insured, isn't it? Well, we didn't double check that though. Benji, before you go out. What? I don't want to see any more grass. Right, are you going to get on your hands and knees and wash that later? Because I load my hands up to that, that was me, but don't add to it. I'm definitely Hopefully not. Hopefully now, all the gravel has fell out of the car, right? Yeah. Because we don't need to check it, do we? No. So, this might be the last time you see this car in one piece. I don't know if people can see it on the camera. Do you know when you leave like something out on the side for like ages, food, yeah. and it goes crusty? Yeah. That's basically what it looks like. What, the pad? Yeah. It might just be the outer edge. See how you go. <laughs> Here he comes, he's still in one piece. Can't hear him. I understand, yeah. That is so quiet, that car. Well saved. So hopefully Benji doesn't do the same as what that Fiesta just did. So he was. No, he wasn't. Yeah. He was he? This is definitely not him. No, he's not in an MX-5. Where is he? Here's the Volvo. Something else? Is that the Peugeot behind? Is this him? No, Beamer. What the hell? Well, ain't looking good because Benji's not come round and he should have been well round by now. And that is 
the recovery truck and that is a red flag well it's a red LED flag actually so someone's had an accident but either way uh, that car needs some noise because you can't even hear it coming round I mean you should be able to hear any car a race car coming from sort of like just past the start finish there coming into old hall but you can't so it needs something doing to it so we're going to have a look see where this car's come off the track but i think it might be up shell oils up there so just where that car is there we'll go and have a look so this is my second time on track not just Alton park yeah on track um i've not been on a track before only ever go-karted so I've kept the traction on just because I can't afford to bin it. So the fire truck's back over here and the racers, well the track there has started again. Still can't see Ben though. So he's definitely not uh, still out on track. So got to be back in the paddock. Let's go and see what damage he's done. Did you crash? Hey, where did you go? Did you crash? Mate, I'm professional mate, I don't no, crash. No, did you crash? No. I was waiting for you. No? No, because I've seen the safety truck go out. Nah mate, I overtook that. So, yeah. from my point of view is, point of view is that needs better suspension better tires and better brakes what about you uh, definitely the tires and brakes 100% suspension for me is it's soft but forgiving I think the thing is if you ended up going firmer on the suspension you'd ruin it for the road there's no point upgrading the suspension or making the suspension firmer on that to then ruin it for the 99% you've got on the road for yeah so that's to the, the, the ride the suspension is tolerable on the track for me yeah but obviously I'm no professional what you get out of it is a lot of fun it's yeah. sideways it understeers that's obviously it's just it needs better tires fucking tires are the shy. conditions are not great it's still a bit damp but i had fun did you have fun yeah great fun i had more fun in the clio but i was just saying to the uh, to the chap then i think the reason for that is because you're a bit more relaxed when you're flying around in a three grand car i felt like the gearbox was quite weird sometimes i don't know if you use uh, well, we're in manual, weren't we? So, <coughs> well, I didn't have any issues. It came it. down though to like free, and I felt like it was. I don't know if it. I think in the future, if you're going to tune this car, you need to like Get have a, TDS a cooler on or like. No, I think you need. The, I think you need a gearbox cooler. Oh, I might just need the map. A gearbox map. Yeah, maybe, I, I don't know. Need a TDS or something. I don't know. Well, I, 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 I don't know. We're not going to do anything with this car because this car is going to be going for the green one. Yeah. We're going to do stuff on the green one. 100%. That stuff is going to be done. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We had fun. Do we have, do we have our professional driving certificates? Racetrack? Oh, yes, park certificates we do, now. yeah. We might have to get them from race control, yeah. but that's it. Someone can print them off, right? Yeah. So get the printer on. All right. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye bye. Right. That's that you, you, that. that. <laughs> that's not you, is it? No, hey. That's me. you, that. Right. That weird get me. Get back to Liverpool, <laughs> you, you scouser. That's definitely Toes Chode, that 100%. There's, yeah. his, there's Toes Chode. Right. See you later. All about the girth. <laughs>